Alright, this is John Kilo with OKRod.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and today we're gonna talk about how Trump could solve the healthcare crisis in one word. It's a very simple word, right? And uh, before I get into that, I want to talk about something really fast is that, you know, on my channel, I generally don't talk about religion and politics. Those things will get you in trouble. So I'm not necessarily going to be commenting on the election and all this kind of stuff. Maybe later on I will. But I will tell you that I didn't vote for Trump. All right. <laughs> so but my brother did. <laughs> but in any case, how Trump can solve the health care crisis is because he's a businessman, much like I am. He knows his dollars and cents. His corporations make, I don't know, billions or millions of dollars. Who knows how much? Because he hasn't disclosed that to anybody. <laughs> but nonetheless, he has been a successful businessman. He knows it all comes down to dollars and cents. And the way to solve the health care crisis here in America, because it's costing America, it's bankrupt in America. The way to solve it in one word is prevention. Science now knows how to prevent some of the top, or most of the top 20 killers of Americans today, right? It's by simply changing your diet and eating the healthiest foods on the planet and reducing significantly or entirely eliminating the foods that cause people to get sick and other things that, you know, may cause illness. So, for example, right? I want my viewers that are watching this, and Trump, Mr. Trump, if you're watching this, I want you to got you wanted to do this too. I want you guys, I want everybody on the planet to be as healthy as possible for as long as possible, and see the benefits of this. Because once you see the benefits, you're going to get excited and passionate about hopefully trying to help others and spreading the message about the best foods to eat. You know, I feel that I was like done wrong in grade school when I was taught the four food groups, and we need to have these foods each and every day. I've since learned, you know, a lot of those foods, animal foods, dairy products, processed foods, junk foods, even grains in excess are not the healthiest foods on the planet, right? What the healthiest foods on the planet are, are the fresh fruits and the fresh vegetables. And that's what your diet should be focused around. That's what I teach on this YouTube channel. You know, I have over 400 videos now teaching guys all aspects of eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables as the primary food you guys are eating. If you guys want to learn more about eating a healthy diet, uh, let's see, there's two good books I'd recommend. One is doc by Dr. Joel Furman, Eat to Live, and another one is actually by Dr. Michael Greger, and it's actually called How Not to Die. Definitely encourage everybody to eat more plants, and if people just stop eating the junk foods, you know, the animal foods, the meats, the dairy, the milk, um, the processed foods, the McDonald's, even, you know, even organic food that comes in packages, bottles, and jars at your local whole paycheck supermarket, right? These are not the healthiest foods for you. We want to get back to basics. We want to eat things without an ingredient label. This is very important, right? I mean, I could go out to my garden in my backyard and I don't need ingredient labels for my radishes, my turnips, my carrots, my, you know, peppers, my potatoes, my kale, my collard greens, I just go out there, pick it, and eat it, right? Super important to make some dietary changes. Now, we all know that Trump is probably going to do away with health care, or, you know, the Obamacare system, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, until he does, uh, you know, we're stuck with it. And I I'm not really in favor of, you know, making somebody, like, sign up to health care. Now, if they're going to provide it for free, that's a different story. But, you know, we everybody has to pay for the health care. And if you don't, you get fined for not having health care if you're filing an income tax, you know, uh, income taxes. There is one way around this, and it's actually called uh, Christian Health Care Ministries. So look that up if they don't discontinue Obamacare anytime soon uh, for the workaround so that actually you don't have to have traditional medical care. Now, the other thing I want to get into is if you're saying, John, they shouldn't abolish the health care, man. I, I need my health care. <laughs> what I'm going to tell you guys is this, right? I want everybody watching this to be independent of the system, right? I want you guys to focus on prevention and eat the healthy food so that you don't end up in the hospital. Yes, of course, I would agree that having some kind of accidental 
emergency insurance just in case you get hit by a car or bus or god forbid you know eaten by a tiger <laughs> right you'll be you'll still be covered but for average care you know you really don't have to have medical insurance in my opinion right i mean i've gone without medical insurance now for the last 21 years and i've had to go to the hospital like uh, once maybe twice both those times were covered by number one my travel insurance or number two my brother's homeowner's insurance because i fell off a ladder when i was working on his house um so you know and i have car insurance which in cover which includes you know uh, med pay and medical insurance in case something happens to me in my car so I'm not saying all insurances are bad, but here's the thing, in my opinion, the, uh, you know, Obamacare makes only a few people rich, right? The hospitals, and more importantly, the insurance companies, and, I'm, and oh, drug companies, let's not forget about the almighty drug companies. This did them a huge favor by basically making everybody pay into the system so that they could increase their profits. And have you guys just checked their guys' their profits lately of all those, uh, you know, corporations and companies and businesses? Man, they make tons of money, and we are all suffering because of it, because we believe in the Obamacare, right, or whatever. So I want you guys to make some dietary changes. And here's the thing, right? You don't have to wait for Trump, you know, if uh, Clinton, Mrs. Clinton became president. You don't have to wait for them to do anything. You guys could sh t should take the power into your own hands and make changes in your life today, right, For for your health, you could start eating healthier foods today. Every supermarket virtually in the U.S. sells fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Some might have more limited selections than others, and some might have more organic selections than others. But here's the thing. All fruits and vegetables are healthier than anything else in the grocery store based on my research and my opinion and from what I've been doing over the last 21 years now. To take it up a notch, of course, yes, grow your own food. That's even better than the stuff you could buy or even shop at a farmer's market. At least that's better than the produce you could buy. But you want to really massively increase the amount of fresh fruits and fresh vegetables you guys have in your diet. You could do this in a few ways. Number one, juicing. Juicing is an excellent way to get more fruits and vegetables in you because it condenses a lot of fruits and vegetables in a one small glass of juice. Right? You could take five pounds of carrots, which I couldn't sit there and eat five pounds of carrots. You could use five pounds of carrots and you're going to get, you know, five cups, four to five cups of juice that now you could drink leisurely and enjoy and get all the phytonutrients and phytochemicals. They have anti-disease properties. If you're juicing the purple carrots, they've shown that that has actually anti-obesity properties. You know, regular carrots even have anti-cancer properties. They'll help your eyes. All kinds of stuff. Just the almighty carrot. The carrot is one of the least expensive foods on the entire planet. Now, if you don't want to spring for a juicer, right, use a blender. Most of you guys have blenders. There will be some new blending technology coming out here in 2017 that I look forward to bringing to you. But right now, you know, at least blending will allow you to, you know, uh, uh, reduce down so you don't have to do all that chewing and get more fruits and vegetables in you. Of course, eat more salads. I make fresh soups with actually juice stock. Um, I dehydrate different fruits and vegetables like I am right now to make crusts in my dehydrator and I'm making, you know, uh, kale chips and other leaf chips. Um, so yeah, dehydration or just eat things fresh. You don't need any appliances to be healthy, right? Although they do help out a lot. The other thing I want to talk about real quick getting onto the political things is that I'm going to tell you guys I didn't vote for Hillary and I didn't vote for Trump. And actually I'm going to tell you something else that I don't think I've ever brought up before on my YouTube channel, is that actually I didn't vote at all. Now, this may shock you. You're like, John, you're an American man. You should be voting. It's like the, the thing that you should do the most, you know, to make, make it the change you want to see in the world. Well, let me tell you, you know, as much as there's things that tr about Trump I like and there's things about Hillary I like, there's also a lot of things about both these candidates that I don't like. So I didn't want to vote for either of them. And instead, I'm making videos like this and over 1,800 other videos on YouTube to share, you know, the kind of world that I want to create because the leaders that people elect and put in charge are not going to maybe do everything that you want. There's things you like about them, things you hate about them. And I just got my fingers crossed that, you know, Trump doesn't hit the button for World War III and there's, you know, big mushroom clouds and stuff now because he's, you know, he's a little bit unpredictable. But here's the thing, right? I didn't vote because I want to be the change I want to see in this in the world. You know, Trump does not believe in climate change. You know, 
global warming, whatever you want to call it. Maybe you guys believe in it. Maybe you don't believe in it. Maybe you believe it's a scam. I don't really care. But all I want you guys to do is to take action on your beliefs, right? So if you believe global warming is an issue, I personally believe it is, do the things to help, you know, minimize the effects of global warming. Each person could make a difference. You know, leaders at the top, they're not going to do anything about all these things, about, you know, teaching guys prevention, about climate change, right? But you guys could make a difference. You know, this upcoming year, I'm getting an electric car, right? So I'm not going to be burning gasoline anymore. I'm going to get solar panels for my roof. And then I'd be charging my electric car with the solar power created from my roof, right? So I could be more sustainable. I grow my own food in the backyard now so that I don't have to, you know, rely on food that's trucked in thousands of miles. Plus, I could have fresher, higher quality food than money can buy, right? So, you know, whatever the issue is, I want you guys to take personal responsibility and take action your guys' selves. Because if everybody who watches this video took some action and, you know, did a few things turned off lights when they left the house, you know, got low flow shower heads, you know, to save and conserve some water, uh, you know, got LED light bulbs, you know, energy efficient light bulbs and fluorescent light bulbs, um, you know, to reduce your power consumption, you know, unplug all the different items in your house that's maybe drawing phantom power. This will save you guys money, but also it will help save the environment by actually consuming less. And that's another thing that I want you guys to know about is that I want you guys to be a producer instead of a consumer. In my opinion, one of the big reasons for all the challenges we're having in the world right now is because we are massively consuming too much stuff. There's a really good uh, video on YouTube called The Story of Stuff. Maybe I'll put it up over here for you guys. And I encourage everybody to watch that and, and to minimize the amount of things you buy and things you consume and really think about, like, do I really need this? Would my money be served somewhere else better? Could I buy organic food with this money instead of buying a new dress that already have 50 dresses in my closet anyways, right? And, but see, you, each one of us could make a difference. And, you know, I think, in my opinion, in some ways, voting disempowers us because it'll, it, it puts somebody else in charge. Oh, we'll let them make the decisions. We'll let them, you know, solve all the world's problems. And it makes, it leaves us powerless when we have the power, you know, if you're really into animal rights, right, start doing something about it. Start saving the animals. Start letting other people know that they shouldn't eat animals, right? I mean, I don't think eating animals is a good idea. It's bad for, you know, uh, global warming, for climate change. It's bad for your health in excess. And most people, unfortunately, who are eating animal products, eat them in quite excess, you know, it's just not good for the animals either, not compassionate for the animals either. So it's actually quite sad. But each one of you guys could make a difference in your lives if you took action on your principles. And that's what I try to do in my life. You know, I try to be a man of integrity and be the change in the world that I want to see. You know, Gandhi, that's a quote from Gandhi. And that's what I want you guys to do, right? Do what you believe in and also share this with others, right? That's one of the reasons why I make my YouTube videos is because I've learned how to positively change my life and I want to pass this on. A really good movie to watch is called Pay It Forward if you haven't seen it, right? And if everybody paid it forward in the world, we'd have a much different and better place and we wouldn't have to depend on leaders for Obamacare or for all the government programs and assistance. Another thing that I really want to talk about really quick before I go is unemployment, right? Unemployment, it's a, still a big problem here in America. There's so many people that are unemployed. You know, the minimum wage is just not high enough and people are scrapping and scraping by trying to make ends meat or ends carrots or ends bread. And we're not able to do it because we're always depending on somebody else to give me a job. Give me a job! You know, I want each, and, each one of you guys to ask yourself a better question instead of Give me a job, right? Ask yourself, how can I be of service to others? How can I be of service to others, right? Can you start a t-shirt company, right, to spread good messages about different things? Can you start making YouTube videos that inspire and help and, uh, you know, uh, change the world? Can you start washing people's windows when, you know, they, we just had a dust storm, you know? Whatever it is, if you see a need in the world, you can fill it. You can be your own boss. You could be your own entrepreneur like Trump, like me, like many other people I know, right? You can create your own job. But we have to get out of this whole, 
realization of that, you know, the leaders or the people in charge are going to solve the world's problems. Because let me tell you straight up, in my opinion, they're not. They're not doing a, a, They're not doing enough to make steps in the right direction because still many of them are paid off by big corporations. And maybe hopefully Trump is not. And hopefully he'll make decisions based on, you know, running a business because that's what the country is. The country is a big, ginormous business. And they need to make a profit. And until up till now, they've lost lots of money. And any business would be going broke at this point. You know, the national deficit is huge. I don't even know how big it is now. Right? And I want you guys to know that you guys could make a difference. You could not just, like, give me a job or get a job. But you could create your own job. You could create your own income by being of service to somebody else. So however that may be. Come up with some cre creative ideas. There's Google now, how to, st how to create your own business, how to start your own business, business ideas. Start a juice bar, start a juice delivery service, you know. Um, so many different ways you guys could make your own money instead of having to rely on somebody else. I think that's the end of this video today, right? I want all you guys, whether you're Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, wh whomever, to number one, work on prevention in your personal life, right? By eating a healthier diet, it has been proven. You could basically be immune and, you know, prevent yourself from getting some of the top 20 killers in America. And of course, there's ways to dial in a diet based around plants and fruits and vegetables, and that's what I try to teach you guys on my channel. Uh, number two, I want you guys to take responsibility and action in your lives for things that you believe in, you know, if you believe in climate change and if you believe in, you know, animal rights, if you believe in this, if you believe in that, don't let others, right, do what you want to do or be the change that you want to be, right? I want you guys to take action and I want you guys to do it yourself. Each one of us can make a difference and we all need to come together because the leaders are not doing this to promote the causes that we believe in, okay? And number three, I want you guys to create your own jobs. Ask yourself how you could be of service, how you could, you know, create an income on your own without having to work for somebody, right? This is what true freedom is about, you know. Today, because I have my own job <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I'm my own boss, right? Most of the day I spend in the kitchen. Six hours today I spend in the kitchen making, you know, pizza crust, making kale chips, making sugar cane juice. It seems that's what I did today. And that's cool. Yesterday I was in the garden all day and tomorrow is going to be a little bit different. Maybe I'll work a little bit more. But when you guys are your own boss, you got to get to create your own schedule and you have much more freedom than being in a box. And I think, you know, the government system as it's set up, it tends to basically put people in a box and basically you're just another cog in the system. And I want you guys to break out of the system. The more people that could break out of the system, the faster we're going to get change to happen in our society that most people are still not woken up because they're still watching TV and being influenced by marketing and all these things. So that's all I got to say today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you didn't like this format, because I never did this format before on my YouTube channel, be sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know. I'll be sure to do more rants like this just off the top of my head. Um, also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes I'm coming out about every five to seven days. You never know what I'll be talking about, where I'll show up, what kind of restaurant review I'll be doing, or how you'll learn to improve your fruit and vegetable dominated diet. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. I have over 400 episodes on this YouTube channel now teaching you guys all aspects on how to eat a healthy fruit and vegetable based diet. If you want to learn how to grow your own foods, be sure to visit Growing Your Greens on YouTube where I teach you guys how to grow your own food, fruits, vegetables, you know, all that stuff. Over 1,200 videos now teach you guys how to grow your own food. So once again, you can become a producer instead of a consumer. You know, when I'm going to put solar panels on my roof, I'm going to be a producer instead of a consumer, right? The more ways you could produce yourself, the less somebody else has to produce for you and the better, a better place the world will be because of it. And finally, if you're looking for a juicer to maximize your fruit and vegetable intake, one of the best ways to get more fruits and vegetables in you and to make it fun and tasty and delicious, be sure to visit my other YouTube channel simply called Raw Foods and visit my e-commerce website, discountjuicers.com. 
uh, so I could sell you a juicer, you guys could get healthier, and also it allows me to be my own boss. So uh, thank you guys for those of you guys that have supported me in the past, and thank you guys for those of you guys that will support me in the future. Uh, so once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. John Cole with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for him here all the way in Katy, Texas. It's outside Houston, if you don't know where Katy's at. And uh, the reason why I'm here today is because I'm going to do a raw food recipe.